Yo, what's going on everyone? And welcome to a brand new episode of the Truck Fantasy 6 season. So, if you remember from last time, we won at Sonoma. It was the longest race on the uh, <laughs> I've ever done in the trucks, but we punched our ticket to Eldora. So, it's a good thing too, because uh, Richmond is not my best track. So, let's check out um, how the other playoff uh, contenders are looking. So, Brad Moffitt looks to be ha having a good race. Now, if Johnny Sauter and Ross, Sheldon Creed, Ben Rhodes, all those uh, actually uh, fit in here, like actually get a win, who knows? Because after this, we're going to Road America, one of my favorite road courses. I just got done actually with a career mode episode there. <sighs> Disappointing, but we still got a good top 10. So, yeah, let's see what we got here. Uh, settings, of course. Um, usual stuff, 105 difficulty. Now, the only thing that we are going to change is we're not putting uh, we're not putting cautions on here. We're doing multiple stages. We're having fun. This is the fun career mode. Narrow. Go to infrequent mechanical failures and just normal tire wear effect. Normal fuel consumption. All that fun stuff. So yeah, four times tire wear as well. I for totally forgot to do that. So yeah, usual stuff <laughs> that we like to uh, do around here in the in the fantasy six. It's going to be fun. Hopefully, y'all enjoy. Let's just get right to Richmond. Like I said, we're already locked into Eldora, so we have nothing to worry about. But I do want to... Uh, I do actually want to try something. So I have a different kind of setup, and it's thanks to Red4424 for the uh, setup. So let's see if it works. It seemed to practice very well, so uh, hopefully it can actually go the distance. Because with four times tire, we're going to be pitting like every, I want to say like 20 laps or so. Out uh, of this 225 lap uh, race. Bam. This is the setup again. Thanks, uh, Red4424, for the uh, setup. Hopefully it works. Um, I think I think it practiced very well because I just got done with uh, practice before I started the stream. So, yeah. So, we'll just go straight to qualifying and see how we do. Again, like I said, we already punched go, our go, ticket. Go. We're not that worried about, uh, we're not that worried about actual winning or playoffs or anything like that. We're just racing to uh, have fun now. There we go. Get a good exit. It's tight on purpose. Like, I have it set up. Um, I have it, like, a little bit changed, like, in the uh, rear uh, sway bar. Because at Richmond, especially, the rear just wants to step out on a corner exit. All right, at the run. 21 7, down. not that bad. 18th, whatever. So, yeah. Let's see who is on pull and see how everyone's doing. So. Looks like all the playoff drivers are up here. Ross in second, Johnny in third, Brett in fourth, Bent Road sixth. Yeah, all the playoff drivers are up here. So they're going to have some good runs. This is going to be a huge point battle. So we got moved up to 17th. Chat, let's go the distance. Harrison Burton looks slow today. Oh, well, there goes his playoff hopes, I guess. Oh, and Ross! Oh, he, no! He's got sent to the rear. Oh, disaster for the 45 truck. We're going green. Are you ready? Alright. Time to go. Alright, like I said, since we're on four times tire wear, we are pitting every 22 laps and 70 lap first Careful. stage. Still there. Car high. Careful. Like I said, I'm not too worried um, if we uh, do or do not uh, race that well because we're already locked into Eldora with our win at Sonoma. So we are A-OK. -okay. But having no cautions on is definitely a huge 
thing for this because one person makes a mistake or anything like that and it's curtains. The race is over. from the outside, outside. All right, you're clear. And of course, the unspoken thing that we that we always do is we don't repair damage. So whatever damage I accrue, I will not be able to repair. All clear. But as long as we just hit our marks, we'll be good. In a uh, Trek of Tomorrow race uh, that I did um, last week, I finished in 14th, and we're running 14th now. So, hey, if I can better myself here, that'd be great. Stay low. Hit the apron. That didn't quite, that didn't quite sit well. Got a car high now. Hold your line, three wide. You're in the middle. Oh my god. You're all clear of Who? Tolerant, I was looking at Raphael Lassar just dive bombing, coming from downtown, because I left the bottom open. And here I go to the top. And all that progress we made, gone. That's what happens. Like, you have to protect the bottom. And I messed up there. So there goes all of our progress. Literally all of it. Shell increase not doing so hot. Back here, I guess. Got a car high now. Clear high. Clear high. Car outside. Hold your line. All right, you're clear. Car outside. Hold your line. All clear. Car outside. Craziness here on uh, in the midpoint of the run. Whoa, I got clipped by uh, Kyle Benjamin. That did not feel good right there. Where's that Ross? That's Ross. Okay. Careful, still there. Car outside. Still there. Whoa. Still there. Car outside. Hold your line. What happened to Ross there? That was different. Careful. Still there. It's like he just slid up into the wall. All clear. Outside. Outside. Gave up the bottom there to Parker Kligerman, and he took the opportunity. Not to give him room. I just gave it to him. I saw that he was just going to run me down. Ooh, I slipped the tires. Li Jesus. Literally, you just slip the tires once, and it just... It just careens out of control. But we're in, we're in the red now, so we got to repair the damage. That's just gonna make our temp spike. Like literally, just like you lose your footing once. And Richmond's just so unforgiving. It was like that in Road America too.
Well, not only that, but it doesn't help that the AI literally dive bomb their corners. Can't wait to get my first stop on. Repair this damage. When it's in the red, though, that's the exception because it makes your temp spike. And I'm not gonna blow my engine for for something like that. If it's in the yellow, though, I'm not repairing it. Non-playoff driver Grant Enfinger in the lead now. Okay, it looks like the craziness finally started to subside. Alright, pit stops are happening already. That was quick. Oh, well, I lied. I guess that's their warning cue. So next lap, they're coming on down. How are we on? Yeah, so tires are fine. What we're going to be looking for is we're going to run this tank dry. Well, not exactly dry, per se. Whoa. Anthony Alfredo there just going, going crazy. Yeah, trucks are starting to trickle in. I was repairing the damage anyway, so. Alright, so. I need to tighten up just a tick. Just that tick. It's five seconds is actually gonna kill me, though. awful. I have a plan though, because it looks like the people that like stopped early won't be able to actually make it uh, all the way in the stage. They'll be ha actually having to make a extra stop, which is very weird that they would make that choice. So we just got to run our own race, and whatever happens, happens. Because, like I said, we're already locked in, so this is really, like, a for fun race. That was a great lap. Careful, still there. That was a good lap, actually. Clear high, clear high. Not the best, but not the worst. I 
I mean, the truck feels amazing on the short run. Like, absolutely amazing. It's the long runs that I have to worry about. Clear myself there. Grand Grandfinger is actually getting caught up in lap traffic here, so that's wonderful for us. see some crazy strategies from the AI. Most of them are going to be on the same one as us, but then you're going to have the outliers that, for some reason, pit on lap 20. Not entirely sure why. Making our way forward. Slowly but surely. Get around Jordan Anderson, that's P twenty five. Flipping those tires again. Inside. All right, you're clear. I'm giving sewer freezing plenty of room. I'm not going to get in the way. Got one inside. Same with Brett Moffat. Don't want them to get upset. There. God forbid, I, didn't, I can't be invited to their barbecue. Stay on the bottom here. All clear. Thing also means up, yep. Second and a quarter ahead. coming into the pits this lap, just saying they are, because it will be next lap. Or, you know, I'm just wrong. <laughs> oh, I like that line. Where I just duck down right there. Doesn't so much work in turn three and four, but works in turn one. Granite finger is using D two tires to get some stage points. Yo, Loghead, welcome to the stream, man. 
Well, the thing is, I'm not so much worried about stage points is because um, I'm already locked into the next round. So, and the next round is um, literally the finale. So, like, this is a for fun race, you know? But no, I, I, I agree with you. We can definitely do that next up. Because uh, my rights definitely are wearing a lot more than my lefts. Good racing so far. Oh, thank you. And you should see me on a good day. Because Richmond is hands down my worst track. Ah, I appreciate the compliment, man. I think Travis wanted to get down pit road that lap, but whatever. We denied him. Who cares? There we go. Up here in a P5. All right, this time. We're really loose. Yeah, definitely this time. I love Richmond, I think, because it's a challenge, especially off of two. Oh, yeah, I mean... too fast. What? We're good. So the tire's right there. We're good. Um, yeah, especially off of two, because um, I set the car... Uh, sorry, the truck. People get upset about that. I set the truck up to um, really uh, to really get off well on two, where I don't need to like feather it or like just play with the throttle. Um, and I think I accomplished that. Oh, I forgot to turn off. I forgot to not repair damage because that's a stipulation that I make on myself. But but yeah, seventeen second. Stop. Even then, it would be like 16 second stop if that wasn't it. No, not a huge, not a huge to do. Okay, get back in there. Let's go. Car outside. Grandfinger getting the undercut though is massive. Like it gets half a track uh, length of uh, coverage on us by just stopping. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Brad Moffitt. Playoff implications. Or that's who freezing. I saw Brad Moffitt up there. Playoff implications, chat. First race I ever went to live in saw JR's last win in Ooh. Tier one pro tip, don't you die. Oh, I'm trying not to. I mean, there is definitely something going on here with a person dying. Car on the outside now. All right, you're clear. Thanks, Zero. But no, like, definitely, the last race I went to was Michigan. Great dodging back. I appreciate it. How are y'all, um, how are you two doing today? Hopefully uh, your day is going well. I had the day off from my uh, student teaching. My uh, school was uh, closed, so hey. Here I am playing NASCAR with... Uh... This looks like Richmond. Oh, you'd be correct. Hi. Yo, Cozy, how you doing today, man? Man, everyone's coming in. Missed a hell of a hell of a dive. I broke those ankles there. Oh, I just got done with that log head. Like we had a, a huge snowstorm last night, and that's why uh, it's it's a snow day. But you know, it is super cold. Twenties is definitely not my uh, kind of weather. So yeah, we'll be, we'll 
be good for the rest of the stage, honestly. We can make it the rest of the way. All right, you're clear. Now, what's that going to do for strategy is going to be the question. Because I... Oh, yeah, right? Especially when you're teaching, you know? Like, it's one thing. Because I... I, um... It's like, here I am. So, a little bit about me for anyone that is new around here. Um, I'm a student teacher. I'm getting my master's in education. And in order to accomplish that, I have a... Uh, ben Rose? Okay, no. He is on the way back. Um, in order to accomplish that, I have to student teach. And I am at my school. And I get told, hey, there's a chance that we won't be open tomorrow. I'm just like, well, what for? He's like, well, didn't you hear there's supposed to be snowing? Yeah, but I thought it was supposed to be like two inches. And they told me, it's like, well, yeah, but that's why we have extra days. And I'm just like, well, hell, if we're just going to close, that's fine. And lo and behold, I wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning, and we're closed. I'm just like, holy God. Hold your line. That one is Easy. Best day ever. Ross literally finishing, starting from the back. Now up here in fourth. Make that third. Literally, he is like 13 points out of the lead. Um, out of uh, the round of four, the championship four. He needs a win at this point. But yeah. Chad, as you can see, Richmond's my worst track. For anyone that checked out the uh, Truck of Tomorrow race, so we finished 14th. I have no idea how we accomplished that. You have to be near me, LOL. Your weather is the same as mine, LOL. Oh, I live in Ohio, so uh, literally it changes on a dime. Like within a span of a year, we went from record breaking negative 30 without the wind chill to, go. to, uh, to 90 degrees. 90 degrees plus a heat index or humidity of like 100%. I'm just like, my god, what? Travis did that to himself. I'm giving him room. But no, it's just that mid, uh... It's just that northwest, uh, middle of the United States, you know? Got one inside. All clear. Got a car low now. Got a car high now. Okay, all these people are on fresh tires. I'm just gonna let them go. Car in front of you. Come to the pit. Except for Raphael, sorry. He doesn't deserve it. Yeah, you better get that spot right, back. Yep, exactly. Got one down low now. Clear all around. Oh. oh my god, who was that? The world may never know. Chad, this is why I love this kind of, uh, this series, because, like, with no cautions, you see the weirdest stuff. I have no idea who that was. I want to say that was Christian Eckes, but I don't know. Travis Quapple literally bit the dust right there. Who was that? I think that was Sheldon Creed? Oh, I don't know. Careful. The world may never know. Hold your line. Got one no, Raphael, get All right, you two clear. just go away. Inside. All clear. Look at inside now. Alright, everyone's pitting. P5. Top 
Look at this chat. Car there on the inside. Everyone's Those literally making an extra stop and I have no idea why. I mean, I guess they're just going to get back on the lead lap anyway. But hey, look at well, we're leading. Normally we would be pitting this lap, but hey, we already passed two to go. Oh, Johnny is on fresh tires. Yeah, that's fine. Let him go. All right, Lafriel, just calm down. And that's a stage win. And as soon as we did that, we ran out of fuel. So perfect. Jeff and Joe Cobb with the top five. What? So yeah, we're pitting. And anyone that stays out um, is going to get the wave round, which I highly... Hello. I expect everyone to be doing that. Yo, Chad, welcome to the stream, man. Long time no see. I'm about to say, what are we waiting on here? Oh, I guess they're not going to get the uh, the wave around. Look at that. Yeah, estimate fuel zero. <laughs> Just gas, gas only. <laughs> Let's go. Corn on cob is fifth. Yeah, I know, right? Corn cob is uh, fifth or seventh now. I don't know how that changed, but, oh, I guess not. And yeah, there's a lot of people pitting. There's a lot of people that's not. Interesting. Let's see how this stage goes. We're going green. Be ready. Only one truck out of the race. Ooh, it it was Christian Eckes. Oh my god, Johnny. What a move. Literally, there was no hesitation there with getting around Ross. Okay, let's see how this stage goes for us. 66 laps. We can go about to lap 23, so that'll be perfect right there. It'll be 23, 46, and then the rest of the way. I don't know. The people's uh, differing uh, fuel strategy is off the chart. I have no idea what the hell they're doing. But it is a, just a knockdown, drag out fight for the top top spot right here. That was a great lap. Hopefully everyone's enjoying the stream, by the way. Everyone's enjoying the race. I know with uh, NASCAR season uh, ending, our seasons uh, pick up. I'll be providing more great NASCAR content throughout the off season. And by great, I guess that's your own definition. I think it's cool. Gus Dean. Is he on the lead lap? I don't think so. No, he's not. Definitely worth the watch. Hey, well, thank you so much, man. Hopefully I can get that W. There's 225 laps in the race, and if we're splitting it up, there's going to be about 80 laps before uh, for the final, final stage. Time. Yo, Lughead, thank you so much for the follow, man. Welcome to the Groovy Crew. 
Don't move. Stay high. Inside. I'm just, I'm just staying out of the way, honestly. Playerman is also in the, also in the free pass position now. Let's see if that changes anything, or if that changes at all. Ben Rhodes. Ben Rose, I know, is a lap down, so I'm not worried about him. Got one inside. Yeah. So we're we're gonna get a good finishing position through strategy and not Don't move, stay high. Not by how fast we are, because as you can see, we're not the fastest. Well, let's see what we can do here. Ross now on point. Ross is essentially should should start thinking about be needing in a must win in order to make it to Eldora. Johnny Sauter could point his way, and Brad Moppet is well. Uh, is well above the cut line. All right, halfway through the uh, first stint right here of stage two. Gus Dean making his way downtown, walking fast, looking back, walking faster, because Granite Finger's right behind him. I'll help a teammate out. So chat, championship uh, thoughts for Truck Xfinity you and... Fast, you just run. <laughs> no, there's nothing runs in my family. That was a joke, by the way. Then immediately goes to the top. Good talk. Um, so yeah, Ch uh, championship uh, winners for each series. I think Brett Moffat. Either that or Brett Moffat or Stuart Friesen. Whoa! Playoff implications for Ross. There is no way I was I was slowing down for that. I had no idea what was even happening. Definitely have the chance to put more drivers a lap down. Oh, that tire blowout for Ross is going to definitely hurt him. That may just seal his uh, playoff hopes right there. Rip the watermelon, man. I mean, I don't think that means he's out of the race because usually, like, a blown tire just means he just comes down, repairs it, and comes back out. But we'll see. But there's a lot of people that are just stopping early. Unless he's the people that didn't pit. He's my pick this weekend. Oh, Ross? Okay. Looking 
side now. Clear down low. Oh my god. I am. All guys might fit for Saturday. All guy? No, I, he's my guy in uh, Got one in X Friday. I hope he wins. They car ahead of you, city. Al Gator. All Gator. Little Gator. Inside. They car ahead of you, city. All right, next lap. Hey, we got, we got. I know I said no damage repair, but I gotta repair this damage. I am pushing tight. And MDJ for Sunday. Yeah. Nope. I can. I. The thing is, all of these people can definitely uh, all do it. We have a very competitive uh, championship four, and all all across the series. Slow down. There we go. Yeah, we gotta repair that damage. Three three seconds worth. Uh, we we just gotta do it. But yeah, no, I I definitely agree with you. Um, with all of those, I mean, I, they all can do it, and that's the beauty of being able to see the progression of the trucks. Um, Xfinity, because I, oh my God, Sheldon Creed. Because I normally didn't watch uh, the trucks or Xfinity before last year. And I'm just like, oh man, I'm missing out. Because when I saw the closest ever NASCAR finish happen in Xfinity, I'm just like, this doesn't ever happen in Cup. MDJ is the only guy at Gibbs I can even stand been a fan from the chance two days. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally understand. And you know, there's a lot of, just a lot of Denny fans, there's a lot of Kyle Busch fans. Um, I would have to agree with you, though. I mean, the only part I don't like about him is when he does complain about uh, lap traffic, you know? Then it just sounds entitled. But that's just my personal opinion. It's only P5 right now. Three and a half back to Todd. No trucks in Xfinity have a lot better racing. Oh, the trucks have consistently, because uh, I, I talk about this in uh, in the streams all the time. The, the trucks have consistently proven to be the best uh, series for 2019, and even it was last year in 2018. Just how close and the natural body of the trucks just everything's perfect with the uh, frame and the spoilers and. It just sucks that they don't get the attention they deserve, you know? Because, like, Xfinity, I can, you know, you can understand it's like the, it's like the college level for a cup. But, you know, then there's the trucks that's kind of free-floating out there, and they are gosh dang exciting, you know? Two big of a gap in competitive cars in the cup series. Oh, well, then that's what 2021 is supposed to uh, mitigate, you know? Same in Formula 1. Alright. Trying to get past Harrison. Oh yeah, and you know, um, it's much like the old phrase, you know, the rich get richer. Well, well, yeah, because you know, you have uh, you have a lot more beating and banging, especially like in Martinsville, you know, because the races are uh, so much shorter that you know, there's only like three sets of tires on pit road. And essentially, every race is like a sprint race, you know? Clear low. Trying 
Travis I know is on fresh tires. I'm not going to hold him up. Hold your line. Truck drivers inside. definitely get to push the issue because of the race lane. Yeah, exactly. Is that Dylan Lupton right there or is that Tyler Ankrum? Oh, that's Anthony Alfredo. Not none of the above. I mean, same with Xfinity, too, so a certain, to a certain degree. Like, the shorter races for the Xfinity, like um, Darlington. Darlington is uh, considered a uh, shorter race. I it's would like love to JR Motorsports start a cup. Hendrick, though. Because, you know, all the drivers are essentially the starting points for all future Hendrick drivers. And, um... And with the alliance that, essentially, that they have... I think there would just be a conflict of interest, but no, I, I definitely would agree, because I remember uh, when Kyle Petty did his Coffee with Kyle segment with um, uh, Kelly, All clear. Uh, she said that like in the early years, like in back in 2008, there was talk of uh, Junior going to uh, uh, Cup Series with his team. Like, right when the transition of the uh, car tomorrow happened. Careful, still there. Seems like the money plays a little more into the Xfinity versus the trucks. Oh yeah, no for sure. I mean, just the amount of starting parks in the Xfinity series, you know? Because in the trucks, yes, there are starting parks, but there's a lot less of them. Because also in the truck series, you know, sponsor uh, money is significantly less than it would be for Cup. Because Cup, in order to sponsor a car, they need more money in order to pay it off. Oh, well, that happened. Rip Gustine and Rip Mike Snyder with a... Uh... <laughs> that happened. Wow, two things happen at once right there. This, seriously, this is why I love this uh, this series. <clears throat> oh, we're gonna have a stack up here. Is that Ross or Benjamin? That's... Kyle Benjamin, okay. Oh, that opens the door for Harrison. Three wide coming off four. Still three wide. Still three wide. Beating and banging all around, but... Alright, clear up top. Got one peeking inside. I wish there was a cap in NASCAR like in the NBA and FLECT, but on the car expense, not driver contacts. Oh, that. I mean, honestly, that's what a Formula One's trying to do, right? I mean, it's definitely possible. I feel like that's. If NASCAR wants to follow Formula One's influence and see how it works. Steam froze. What did you say about the cap? Oh, that uh, Formula One is uh, doing like the same thing, and if they want to follow that influence, then definitely they should uh, check on out and see how Formula One does it. Because if they do that, they will know what to actually uh, what to cap it with. I think it's a great idea.
All right, 15.7 stop. Definitely could be better. Clear out, hammer down. Oh my God, what a stack up right here. So glad we got out in front of all that. And uh, Grandfinger for being on the Lilo. But he'll need a pit again. So we'll see how everything shakes on. Anyone's gonna finish. Jennifer Joe Cobb can win this race. And I think Ross is out of the race, by the way. Yep. There goes Ross's playoff hopes. He's in a must win at Road America. And we've been really good at road courses, so we'll see how that goes. That being said, Ben Rhodes, Brett Moffitt, Johnny Sauter are all up here. Harrison Burns, the only person that's not getting stage points, and it's him and Ross that are below the cut line, so they're the ones that are uh, digging themselves a hole here. Still there. I think you start by saying we can only build X right, amount of cars for the year, and that's what they get to work with one super speedway car to me. Well, you know, another interesting uh, logistics thing is going to be for Pocono, you know? <clears throat> because for that double header, you know, you're going to need a lot of equipment, for one. You need more lodging. And. Should your cars just get demolished, you're going to need a lot of cars. Inside. All right, you're clear. Oh man, that. Hopefully it doesn't rain, I'll just say that. Because for when that goes, if it rains, oh boy, howdy. around the worst driver ever. Still there. Clear high, clear high. Got one inside. All right, you're clear. Got one inside. All right, you're clear. Yeah, we've already planned to stay through Monday just in case. Yeah, I wonder, like, how that schedule will go. Like, say, let's just say that Saturday got rained out. Because, you know, that's going to be the truck race and the, uh, and the first cup race. I don't know, I wish... It's like it's stuff like that I wish I could see the future on. You know, just little petty stuff like that, you know? Stay low. Top spray, use it if you need it. Okay, let's see if there's anyone that can stick it out for the remainder. Well, I guess it's not Grand Finger. Push the weekend back, still run two birthdays. 
inside. I would hope so. Sunday, Monday. I'm yeah. No, no, I agree with you. That makes sense. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's the age-old question, right? We we know that they don't necessarily think in terms of uh, what's smartest or what's best. I don't know. We'll see. P two. When's two or freezing? Come on, on down. TV over fans in the stands, that's their biggest problem. And that's the problem, well, that's one of the problems with uh, modern NASCAR, you know? Because honestly, Pocono is, uh, the way it's set up, oh, there's Travis Quapo and his uh, tire issue. The way um, that weekend set up is um, literally to get people drawn in. It's not about TV numbers. If it was about TV numbers, they would have kept it the same. Got a car low now. All right, you're clear. No idea why Sean Creed did that. But coming to the line, okay, we won't win the stage, but we'll come P2. Earn you a few stage points. But no, yeah, that entire weekend set up to get people to come on and uh, watch the uh, stay in for the uh, for the race, a camp. Oh my god, Chad, look at that. Everyone's pitting. I don't know why. What is this strategy? That people aren't. Pete Johnny's stage one and two now for the one that Pooh TS. But look at this. Look at the people that are literally Counts. giving up giving up value a wave around. And even okay, well Grand here makes sense because he has a lucky dog here. Johnny is the only one that he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna Coming take the wave driver. around here. Be ready. I guess they they think they have a better shot on uh, on new tires, I guess. Car there on the inside. Car there on the inside. Yeah, Richmond is definitely not my best track, so be prepared for my talent running out here soon. Inside. Easy for but I need nothing else. I guess, yeah, right? And Harrison Burton needs those uh, points. Inside. With him having a bad day, which is what that frost symbol represents for anyone that uh, doesn't know, um, he's having a bad day. And hey, a bad day for him? Sixth place? Hell. That's pretty good. Stuart Friesen, though, is not in the, in the playoffs, so literally he can win, and it will change nothing. Who is it, Sheldon Green? No, that's Tyler Dipple. Xbox or PS4? Uh, PS4, my guy. Harrison and, oh, fighting over the lucky dog spot that doesn't exist because <laughs> there will never be a caution the rest of the race. Anthony Alfredo coming up from nowhere. Careful, still there. Some good, clean racing. Still there. Car there on the inside. Clear down low. Hello, online lobbies on PS4. How are online lobbies? I mean, you still have the people that, uh... Xbox is toxic, LOL. PS4 is not much better. I mean, 
I play on. Oh my gosh. Um, I play uh, online a couple of times. Uh, like usually they'll end some streams, and um, yeah, there are people that if, like if, if I'm leading, there is a person that will literally go and take me out. But what I was oh my uh, OMGing about is that sewer freeze oh, no, checked out. out. He is gone. Careful, still there. Go get him, Brent Moffat. You need to fight to uh, reclaim your title. Farther on the inside. I don't understand why you spend money to be a troll LOL. Bottom. Like, literally. I think they just get salty. Like, you know, they, uh... They are upset they're not doing that well, and they just go and just take out the leader for no reason. They put the special tires on his truck LOL. Yeah, they put the special tires. They literally put in the opposite of what happened to Logano. Only one laps to go. Kind of drifting up a little bit. I need to loosen up. Too tight. Hashtag not my champ, LOL. Yeah, hash, hashtag not champ anymore, LOL. Go get him, Austin Hill. You're not in the playoffs, but you're doing great. Hold your line. Got one inside. All clear. Sheldon Creed also needs a good day. Inside. Had to check on up for him. I saw he was he was gonna take the bottom no matter what I did. Where's Grant Enfinger at? Because he's literally driving up from a lap down. So is Johnny. Okay, they're both right there. Okay. Uh, both a second and two seconds back, respectively. Yeah, no, seriously, Stuart Friesen's gone. He's already about to go lap the lap the tail end of the field again. Meanwhile, he's in the middle of turn one, and we're now just crossing the finish line. Watch, he's gonna blow like an engine or something like that, and I'm gonna just die. I will just flip my shit. Yep, piss off should be happening either this lap or next. Burning them tires off faster though. I guess, yeah. Yeah, you're right. So let's see when he comes on down. Hold your line. That one inside. So pit stops are happening. Granite Finger is right behind me. I guess these are the people that stayed out to get the wave around. Just drove around me like he, I was standing still. Yeah, definitely need to loosen up a little bit, especially on corner exit. I think 
think Johnny's already in. Oh yeah, well, because Johnny took the wave around. Car there on the inside. So it makes All sense. Clear. Parker Car there on the inside. just Car got right fresh right tires, right. so it makes sense there. I'm thinking out loud right now, Chad, just of who I'm racing and who I'm not. Uh, Chase. Chase Elliott. It is a sad, sad week to be a Chase Elliott fan. It's been sad three weeks, let's be honest. Like... All right, next time, bye. Like, it has just been absolutely atrocious. All right, this time. So like I said, we're loosening up. Let's see if we get held up at all. But yeah, Chase Elliott is my uh, guy in Cup. All guy is my person in uh, Xfinity. And I actually have a mixture of three drivers um, in truck. And... Not mad at that I like Chase, but when MTJ hangs it up, I'm team blaming. <laughs> oh no, I don't. I don't blame you at all. Ryan Blaney had a, a career year um, this year. But in terms of truck, um, it goes, my favorite being Matt Crafton, Brett Moffitt, and Ross Chastain. So, hey, three of those four are in the championship four, so I have someone to root for at all times. Okay, get back in there. Let's go. Got one up top. Got really loose. Spun my wheels right there. chat. Harrison Burton back down here in P12. Even better lap. Whoa, door bang right there. Totally unintentional. These playoff drivers just a block. Me and Truex Jr. have kind of similar personalities. I think that's what I like. Oh, just very chill, you think? Chill, lay back. Truck, oh no. Honestly, I think. It Having him in the truck series, swapping from uh, Xfinity, has been like one of the best things the trucks uh, have experienced this year. Just that excitement factor. Oh, will he make the playoffs? Um, having a uh, 
having a person root for is like, oh man, is uh, like, is he gonna make the playoffs? And when he did, he's like, okay, is he gonna make the round of six? He did. Is he gonna make the championship four? He did. Now, is he gonna win the championship? Maybe. One shot. Don't mess it up. Yeah, Ross has been putting on the show in everything this year. Yeah, not only that, but uh, winning uh, a race in Xfinity. You know, getting Colleg's first win. Earning his ride there. NASCAR's busiest driver finally... Finally made... Uh, caught a break. I wish Ryan Truex would have had a full-time ride in Xfinity. I mean, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens with that uh, number eight uh, junior motorsports car, you know? Let's see if that is going to turn into a full-time ride or if it's or if it's going to be a uh, still just a... I mean, as much as Chase represents the uh, future of NASCAR, you know, like, drivers like Ross, um, anyone that have gotten through the sport, not by money, but through their own merit, is what helps make the sport as good as it is. Accidentally hit the wall. Feels like I'm pulling too much on the wheel. Hold your line, got one outside. Slow and fast out. Alright, you're clear. Perfect. So, and then here we are, the opposite side of things. Literally, you cannot tell me that Riley Earps, Brandon Jones as well, Harrison Burton to a lesser degree, um, earned their rise and they did not pay for it. You know? Riley especially. The car ahead of you spinning. Getting a full time Xfinity ride. Not saying Chase or Ryan are the way, but people don't give them as much credit I feel. I think the uh, culprits uh, mostly for that are in the lower series, you know? Like Natalie in the trucks bought her way into the ride and she's awful. You know, just stuff like that. So when they, by the time they get the cup, if they get the cup, um, they are just actually absolutely atrocious. Really loose now, so weird how that happens in such a short amount of time. I need to head to you. 
Yeah, she's a joke. Even he spot her quit because she got wrecked by the Danco truck. Energy oh happy tears. Energy oh, happy tears. Energy person face falling. Energy mail sign. Energy person face falling. Energy mail sign. The car in front of you is coming to the pit. Oh, I mean, like, it was just one of those things that, like, literally... Back it down, back it down. Perfect. Like, when I saw that at Bristol, I'm just like, oh my god, did, like, am I being pranked right now? Is this actually happening? And it was! This, this girl got wrecked hey, by the tow truck. Be the real deal, though she's a driver. And she gets sponsorship. I mean, she announced that she's having really hard times getting sponsorship for 2020. Hopefully that was just a ploy, though. It's like a ploy to get sponsorship, you know? Fourteen point four. Good stop. Good stop. Clear out. Hammer down. Because no one wants to be on the clown car. Outside, outside. On the clown car? Yeah. Well, I mean, I was talking about Haley. Haley Deegan getting a uh, sponsorship has um, been difficult for her, essentially. P4. Ben Ro or Todd Gilland, I guess. Nine seconds behind. Stay low, stay low. Clear high, clear high. We have to make one more stop. I think for Ovid is the reason for the Joe Gibbs can't really find them either and they have food in the chip. Well, I mean, Toyota, like, even though they have arguably the best cup team right now in the, uh, in the current year, the fact that, you know, there's so few Toyota teams out there, I mean, I, I get it, you know. Chevy or Ford, you know, that's easy. Still there. Even then, like in the Xfinity series, uh, for example, Chevy is the dominant manufacturer just because it's so cheap. It's a lot cheaper to make uh If NTJ didn't bring Bass Pro Shop, he wouldn't be with them. Oh, yeah. Oh man, okay, so who blew a tire? Oh, Anthony Alfredo. Man, he was having a good race too. The pasta man. Yeah. Literally, literally, interstate batteries. I was getting them confused. Uh, I, I got it confused once, I should say. I'm not going to say often. Because at a quick glance, I'm just like, oh man, Kyle's using the interstate batteries. Wait a minute. Well, Eric Jones has also been, like, the weak link in uh, Joe Gibbs this year. Like, yes, he has a win, but that's it. Made to the round of 16 and got kicked out of the round of 16. 
Meanwhile, everyone else is in the championship four. These top one five at best on any given weekend. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's. I mean, I think there was a um, a post I saw on Reddit, the NASCAR Reddit, saying that um, Eric Jones, out of all the playoff contenders in recent years, has scored the least amount of points. Stay on the bottom here. Like on any given year. All right, clear outside. Sewer Freeze is about to lap me. Got a car low now. All right, you're clear. Got one inside. Like I said, he's not in the playoffs, so him winning won't impact anything. No it's going to be a, a points battle between these, uh, between these drivers. Now the guessing goes the 2 0 ride, not Jones. I mean, we'll see how he does in, uh, in the Wine Family Racing uh, car, you know? Because I highly doubt it will happen, but, like, wouldn't it be, like, an absolute, like, what alternate universe would we be in if Bell just crashes and burns in Cup? Like, he had the makings of a superstar, but, like, watch that, like, being in a Levine family racing car just die bombs his career. Got a combo now. He's on blue and engine. Jordan Anderson, okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, just, I, I highly doubt it's going to happen. I think he's going to have a very fruitful cup for her. But I'm just saying, what if, what if we've been... I didn't know if he was going to come back up or not. All I'm saying is just like, what if? Let's play devil's advocate and he just die bombs. What happens then? Like, same with Tyler Reddick. You know, he's going to RCR. RCR has been awful this year. Like, literally. And Daniel Hemrick, like, while not having a win, he was consistent. Yeah. Like, Daniel Hemrick, I mean, last year, well, in, in his entirety of x Xfinity's career, yes, he hasn't won a race, but he was damn consistent. Making the championship four. This year, he's been nowhere. RCR has been nowhere. What if Tyler Reddick as well just crashes and burns at RCR? Like, I'm not so much worried about uh, Bell as I am uh, um, as I am RCR, because RCR has literally had, like, nothing going for them. At least with Matt DiBenedetto and the Levine family racing car. Drop your speed, driver. They showed snippets of speed. So, 13 laps to go. I'm just taking four. Might as well. Chevy needs to stop changing the bodies they finally make ground up on Ford and Toyota then change the body makes no sense. Yeah, watch that. You're actually going to make it worse. Uh, next year. 
with changing the nose. It would be tragic, but it would be slightly funny. You know, because here they are, like, trying to make it better. And then they actually make it worse. Good stop. Okay, get back in there. Let's go. Stuart Breeson and uh, Grand Infinger are side by side. Stay low. I am not going to get in the middle of this, okay? We're going to let them race. Whatever happens, happens. I would say Corbin Forrester doesn't agree with my, uh, with my theory. being held up so much by this lap traffic. Is Joe Kenrick is 10 times the driver this oh my god, um, I, I don't know if you saw the uh, Texas uh, driver intros, but um, when they introduced uh, Daniel Hemrick, the announcer was just like, Daniel wishes his last name was Dylan Hemrick, and I'm just like, my god, dude, destroyed RCR. Richard Childress literally, literally making room for his uh, grandchildren and his vehicles. And oh my God, it was just—it's just been bad. Like, when will Austin Dillon get outed? Because he is, apart from winning the Daytona, he's been winning crown jewel races, yes. He's made the playoffs, what, twice? But even then, he's been, like, the first person out. When will RCR stop giving preferential treatment? I feel like if they wanted to... I don't feel like he will, but RCR is going to give Tyler Reddick preferential treatment here. Oh my god, Granite Finger going for the lead. Careful, still there. Surf Reason slams the door. All right, three to go this time for them. Halo, Halo. They both take the high side. I'll see if I can get up there, chat, so we can high, look at this finish together. High. Corbin Forrester has other ideas. Side by side, coming off of four. Stuart Friesen has all to do in order to get this victory. Lap track's gonna get in the way. Holds up Grant. Now Grant goes to the top and Stuart to the bottom. Oh, and Grant gets around the lap traffic. Lap traffic plays such a huge role right there. White flag out. All Grant needs to do is just hold the bottom. Sure the three is a way better car than the eight. Going into three. Grand finger going from a lap down, comes back to win the race. And we finish P4. Hey, I'm okay with that top five. At my worst track? Yeah, sure. But no, I totally agree with you. Like, seriously. Being able to say that Daniel Herrick was the, is the better driver when he has the more to prove, and then he may not even have a cup career. This may have just... Yeah, thank you so much, Loghead. Yeah, seriously. There's a lot. There's a lot to unpack with uh, RCR. Hopefully... It doesn't destroy Tyler Reddick's career. Ben Rhodes absolutely just destroyed Christian, I guess, right there. 
And all the playoff drivers had good runs. Let's check out the points. Oh, Brett Moffitt's in. Essentially, all he needs to do is have a good race and not crash out. He's in. Same with Johnny Sauter. Sheldon Creed is the only person that needs to worry. Hi. Yo, crazy syrup guy. Welcome to the stream, man. We just missed it. We just got done with our doubleheader today. Let's check out these accolades. Johnny Sauter had the fast lap with us. I highly doubt it's actually a 16 second lap. Stuart Friesen with the most laps, but didn't lead the last one. Because Grandin Finger took that. On the move, Jennifer Joe Cobb, 29th to 13th. And Myatt Snyder, oh, he showed up today. I hope if nothing else, Hemrick lands with JR Motorspot. Oh, I mean, honestly, I feel like Hemrick's going to go like the Ryan Truex route and uh, just go from team to team. Look at I that. just found my PS2. Hey! You need to find that memory card uh, for uh, for you to <laughs> for you to actually play and do your races. So, chat, hopefully y'all enjoyed that race. Thank you so much for, uh, for stopping on out. Huge shout out to Loghead for the follow. Thank you so much, man. Uh, welcome to the uh, Groovy Crew. 156 followers. Thank you all so much. In playing NASCAR 2002 Collector Edition. Hey, what better game is there, you know? Well, maybe 04, arguably. Um, 04, 05, my personal favorite's uh, 06, but that's just me. Have a good one, man. Anytime. Just real quick before I go, uh, here is the setup, uh, settings I was playing with. Of course, this is our for fun championship mode, so we like to have fun. Four times tower, no cautions, multiple stages. And then all this stuff down here, yeah, pretty standard. Apart from the increment, usually we turn it to... Uh, normal, Dirty but yeah. Daytona. Dirty Daytona. I guess, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 03. Yo, and Crazy Syrup Guy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the uh, Groovy Crew. Thank you all so much, uh, you two. Hopefully, y'all enjoy the races. Um, I guess P6 and a P4. I'll, I'll take it. Y'all have been great to uh, race for. Thank you all so much. I'll be uh, live tomorrow for Darlington for the Xfinity uh, career mode. So, I will see everyone then. Thank you all so much. Have a great day, everyone. It's been fun here for the snow day, but you gotta go back to work at some point. So have a great day, everyone.